This is Ellie at work. Ellie's a four-year-old border collie bitch we got from Jim McEwen. And, uh, believe it or not, these are not dog road cattle. We're just starting here. I just picked these cattle up. Uh, this pasture is an upside-down L. The camera is south of where we're standing. And the uh, leg of the L's north and south, and the uh, bottom or the base of the L, while well, it's upside down, I guess the top faces east. You'll see come into view here a red barn. We actually just drove these cows out of the barn on the east side and, and then north around here and just ran them, ran them out and gathered them up once or twice. Uh, it took about a minute to get over here. Uh, the cattle are fed every day uh, by the owner and so they do see people so they're not completely wild and flighty but they're, they've never been dog handled so you'll, uh, you'll notice that while we do this work. They're uh, we're just starting here. They're they're running away from the dog, and we've got to get them all gathered here and scatter out. So this is all brand new work. There's uh, going to be several cuts with this dog Ellie and another dog later on, and uh, you'll see a pretty quick progression in how these cattle handle and what can be done with our dogs. Um, we've got them under control already. Here they're going to break in one once or twice. We see Ellie staying out nice and wide. She just dropped down. I'm going to start walking backwards. I've got a six foot stock stick there. I like a little distance, but uh, these heifers are going to learn pretty quick. They're a group of crossbred uh, crossbred heifers that are short bred. Uh, I think there's one one springer in this group. And I'm giving some directions here while we, we break these cattle. But uh, later on, you'll see that uh, LA and uh, our other dog sis that will highlight neither one have to be told what to do once we get these cattle kind of trail broke and following us. Yeah, we're a little fast here. Ellie's going to tuck them up. Our cinematography is not too great either. This is uh, the first day with the new camera, a new tripod, and a new high school boy at the wheel. So I hope you don't get motion sick. We're getting them grouped up going east. There's a fence line here. There's a fence line east of me that uh, you can't see. It's it's another uh, 30 yards east of me yet. We're turning well before the fence line. There's a state highway to the east of us here. And uh, some of the flighty ones up front want to take off. They're probably going to take a little shot by me here if I remember right. But uh, you can see Ellie in the back. That little red heifer just took a kick at her. Uh, Ellie will grab a heel. Uh, she'll heel when, uh, when somebody stops up. And she'll go to head and gather and grip. You can see she gathers them really well. I can't see where our... There she is. Popping her head up above the chicory. And we've got them settled just like that. We did two laps out behind the barn before we came around the corner where our camera was set up. And and uh, it it doesn't take very long to break a group of heifers if, uh, <laughs> if they're not completely wild. You can see Ellie keeps a nice distance. Uh, she knows that these cattle respond to pressure. Uh, she'll back off further if she needs to if they're really wild. We're trying to slow them down, and and if they slow down, she'll come and get a grip if she thinks she needs to get them. I'm going just a little quicker than I like. I like to be a fat, lazy stockman taking an easy stroll. I don't like a, have these animals pushed up on top of me. I like a good 6, 8, 10 feet distance. I don't mind if they string out and trail. We custom feed heifers every year. And uh, we'll bring in 150 to 200 on a place I rent. And I expect to be on the lead on a four wheeler and uh, have them follow me. And they, you know, the width of the road. We're in crop country. Uh, it's pretty unusual to see very many cattle here. It's corn, beans, and corn and beans. So uh, the neighbors get excited when we start going down the open road with no fence line and moving from one pasture to another. And uh, we don't have really any opportunity for mistakes. So. Hey, you see how he's gathered them up, turned them back around for us here. I'm giving a couple directions. Um, we got her walking up now, driving them away a little bit, going to create a little space and uh, bring them back around. Ellie responds really well. You can see there she drops right down. I um, always tell everybody that they need to bond up with these dogs and to bring them in and spend a week or two just getting them to lie down under tent situations, get them on the other side of a fence line and get total control before they go to start working livestock. Uh, you don't want a dog that misbehaves at an inopportune time. 
but this is these animals have only they had uh, about a whole 45 seconds of dog exposure uh, before we we headed out for this little jaunt this is about wrapped up on this first cut we have several more cuts to go and uh, we're just got her laid down and holding them at a distance right now the cameraman should have panned out a little wider the cattle are just piled up in a group and we'll pick it up on our next cut <laughs> 